What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Software 101 uh, for Autodesk Inventor. Uh, my name is Matt with Lathrum, and I'm actually going to tackle a question that I got from one of the first robotics teams uh, in lieu of a concern uh, when it comes from, or well, when it comes to exporting um, an assembly drawing into something like uh, 3ds max uh, design or Maya uh, specifically a uh, an animating software package which is actually not that hard uh, it's a little bit intimidating well it may be a little intimidating for those who have never tried it uh, but the process is actually pretty easy what we're going to be using here today uh, is both Autodesk Inventor Pro 2013 as well as 3ds max design 2013 and uh, basically all you have is your uh, you know your assembly your iam and what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, 3ds max design <coughs> come down to import you're going to import the file uh, that is your assembly that you want to bring into 3ds max design and it's going to crank away a little bit here uh, load the file uh, start up inventor server and it's going to bring open this uh, prompt window now first and foremost I'll cover this in two separate pieces because you can import as body object and you can import as meshes uh, those are two different ways of doing things now you can uh, I'm going to check add object name to material but uh, you have different layers by material, reference uh, duplicate parts, and like I said, I'm going to turn on the add object named material. Uh, you also have the ability to either merge with the current scene or completely replace the scene. What I'm going to do for this instance, an example, I'm just going to completely replace the current scene. I'm going to import uh, inventor materials, even though I really don't need to because I'll actually, you know what? I'm not going to import inventor materials because I'll just end up assigning it all new materials anyway. Uh, I'll assign it material IDs, mesh resolution, mesh, mesh resolution. I can't talk today again. Uh, you cannot change when you're doing body objects. Uh, we'll get into that when you get into meshes. Uh, and then of course, inventor's uh, vertical direction is the Y axis. So I'll just hit OK. Uh, this part may take a couple minutes, the actual importing of the scene into 3DS uh, Max Design. It all depends on uh, how many cores you have on the processor, you know, how much RAM, uh, essentially how fast your computer is, how many pieces and parts are in a model, uh, your original assembly model. If it's a large assembly with several thousand parts it's obviously gonna take a lot longer than just this assembly where it has uh, what two four uh, it has probably about 30 parts to it uh, but you'll see you know, when I first click on this it chooses everything and it's because it, it originally brought in the frame dot IAM now don't fret there's uh, actually a way to fix this it's not a big deal you didn't import it wrong or anything like that all you do is you go up to group and hit the explode button now since I exploded this you can see that everything is now separated uh, each, indiv uh, each individual part uh, can be accessed which obviously since you know if you're going to be rendering this you're gonna want each individual individual part wow I can't talk at all today you're gonna to want each individual part uh, separate uh, then you can go ahead and group it by materials or you can group it by um, specific uh, sub assemblies or however you really wish to do it uh, and as far as this goes you know you just hit M you bring up your material viewer and you know just assign a material to it uh, once you get your materials assigned then you can go ahead animate it or keep it still maneuver the camera around and render it out now I said there was another way to do that which it is uh, if you go back into import and I'll pick this same uh, frame assembly 
and we'll wait here a minute for this to pop up now I'll click on meshes with meshes you can choose a mesh resolution uh, which means you can either have a lower polygon count or a high polygon count now if you're doing something along the lines of maybe a video game or something like that you can always go towards less end you know keep your polygon low if you wanted more detail more resolution and you're doing you know maybe a photorealistic or you know just a high quality model and then obviously you're gonna want to move the slider to more uh, generally I think when I was actually using the mesh section I, I think I was doing about six uh, it came out to be a really good uh, result but uh, we'll give that a go and show you it's a little different but it's not that different as you see whenever it opens it up it, it breaks down everything individual oh, maybe, no maybe not so I'll still have to go up here and explode it but I have each individual part in here uh, the resolution is not bad uh, if I zoom in here you can see with all these uh, rounds in this cog or drive wheel whatever you wish to call it uh, the resolution's not that bad at all now you can do do this one more time with a low resolution so you can kind of see where I'm getting at with this honestly for most of you guys uh, just doing it as body objects would probably work sufficiently and wouldn't cause you any issues but like I said if you're trying to boost uh, you know a very high resolution you may want to go the route of you know boosting your uh, resolutions up now as you can see this is a very low poly uh, just coming in zooming in here you can see how it's uh, sort of jagged it's lost a lot of that detail uh, because I have it turned down to a negative 10 as far as the resolution goes but that is essentially the <clears throat> couple different ways that you can import something into 3D Studio Max from an Inventor file. Now, uh, if you're looking for Maya, uh, there should be, uh, either above or below this video in the playlist, uh, there's one set up for specifically Maya only. I separated both the Maya and the 3D Studio Max. That way, you, know, you didn't have to sit there and wait through the entire video just to get to... A Maya section so if you're looking for Maya uh, go ahead and click on that video and uh, that's about it if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to leave them in the comment box below uh, if you found this informative at all please give me a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel it'll help us it'll help you also keep up to date with all the videos that we're kicking out uh, in lieu of inventor uh, also in lieu of maybe SolidWorks in the near future 3ds max Maya and other software that's coming your way. Uh, but for right now, this is Matt with Lathrum, and uh, I'm out of here.